Welcome to One on One with Jamara. Our special guest this morning is Assistant Fire Marshal Mike Schatz. Mike, thank you for joining us today. Good morning. Good morning. We appreciate your time. Um, today we're going to talk about fire safety. But before we get into that, we would like to ask you, what are your main duties as Assistant Fire Marshal for the City of Unit Fire Department? Yeah, um, we do um, fire prevention education. Uh, we do plan review for new construction. Um, we review the documents and make sure they're meeting fire code requirements. Um, we also do uh, arson investigation. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's, I love it. It's pretty cool. <laughs> it seems that you guys are always very busy. Yeah. And we truly appreciate all you do for us, keeping us safe. Now, um, speaking about fire prevention, let's talk about how we can prevent fires at home. Um, with all the items that we have, from candles to phone chargers to the kitchen areas, other areas, what can you tell us? Yeah, most of the fires that we've had with, um, like, phone chargers and, uh, you know, computers and stuff like that are with the lithium-ion batteries. Um, once those items are charged, it's safe to take them off of the charger. Um, once, th if they're overcharged, that's when we have... Uh, the, the battery can explode and cause oh. a fire, yeah. Um, but for the main main thing for your home, I would say have a have a smoke detector. Um, fire prevention week was a couple weeks ago, and uh, the theme was if your smoke detector is 10 years old, it's time to replace. Um, so we encourage everyone to check their batteries. Mm -hmm. You know, when the time changes, spring forward, fall back, and. Uh, if, if they're chirping, don't take the batteries out, replace the batteries. And like I said, if they're, if they're 10 years old, it's time to replace them. Okay. Now, um, going back to the phone chargers again, is there an area where you can place your phone where it might be safer? Because I've heard, you know, some people leave it on the bed or maybe on the couch. And in there, it can get hot pretty quickly. Yeah. So should it be like a sturdy surface? And I would place it on a... a hard flat surface okay. that's you know not as easily flammable as a mattress you know set it mm -hmm. on the counter or the table yeah okay um, now what about in the kitchen area what tips you can give us about preventing fires in the kitchen yeah if you're cooking uh, you you never want to leave a fire um, a cooking fire unattended um, you know you always want to stay in there um, obviously keep the handles turned away so little kids can't come up and you know, hit the handles and flip whatever you have cooking on top of them. Um, but yeah, and, and if you do have a grease fire, uh, I would recommend putting the cover on it and turning the heat off. Okay. Um, whatever you do, don't pour water on it. That's, you'll have a fireball. So yeah, don't, don't put water on a grease fire. That's rule number one. Good, that's a yeah. good tip. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, what about candles? Because nowadays, Everybody loves to have a house that smells really good and, you know, you can have more than one candle going. What's your thought on that? And also um, on the plug, pluggable or scent other, the other scent items. Right. You know, <clears throat> open flames, um, everybody has candles nowadays. Um, just use them responsibly and don't leave them unattended. Um, if you leave the house, make sure all your open flames are, are out. Um, we've had several fires, you know, where that that were attributed to uh, candle, you know, either melting or falling over and mm -hmm. catching something on fire. Okay, um, and what about fire prevention at work? Because in the same mm -hmm. manner, we can carry or we may want to have a candle or a plug-in for the office or maybe other items that we're not aware that can cause a fire. Yeah, that's part of what we do in the <clears throat> fire marshal's office. We do code and enforcement and uh, we uh, we hit businesses around town and make sure that you know they're in compliance with the fire code um, some of the things that we look for are, are uh, electrical um, quite a few fires we have are electrical in nature so we try to discourage people from uh, using extension cords um, mm -hmm. using surge protectors in places where they have extension cords and uh, no open flames in uh, in business type occupancies. So what 
um, what people can do if they want to, instead of a candle, they can have a, maybe a spray or something different? Yeah. Um, they have those kind of like a humidifier mister with okay. the with the uh, essential oils in them. Mm -hmm. You can use those. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, and now, what about uh, fire prevention in Christmas? Everyone wants to decorate the house with nice lights, lots yeah. of them, preferable, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And on the Christmas tree. What can you tell us about that? Well, you know, if you have a Christmas tree, if it's a natural tree, um, just make sure you have it watered. Um, if they get dry, they're, they're very flammable. Um, the, uh, the incandescent bulbs are kind of getting phased out. Um, the LED bulbs use uh, about seven watts per string. Mm -hmm. uh, the incandescents are about seven watts per bulb. So uh, okay. the, the LEDs are way more efficient. Mm -hmm. um, we would definitely recommend them over the incandescents. Um, and as, as you're taking your, your lights out of the box for the year, mm -hmm. uh, you want to check the wires, make sure there's no, no sharp bends in the wire. Okay. Uh, check the insulation, make sure that it's not cracked, frayed, anything like that. If it is, it's time to replace it. Okay. And what about leaving the Christmas tree on if you're out of your house? Yeah, we would uh, definitely no. recommend that you turn your lights off when you leave the house. Okay. Yeah. Um, I know that some people put timers on them, especially on the outside ones, but if you're at home most of the time, you'll take care of that. But for the inside of the house, they're selling timers too, but you still recommend that. It's better just to unplug if yeah. you're out of your house. Yeah, because, I mean, any electrical item can malfunction. So yeah. we just, you know, try to try to keep it simple and, and unplug those items whenever you leave. Okay. Now, if... If people want to know more information about fire safety, fire prevention, there's a lot of information. Um, how can they find out um, more information on this topic? Um, they can get a hold of us at the Enid Fire Department, mm -hmm. or um, you know, if if you guys are like me, I have to get on YouTube and look at a lot of stuff. So <laughs> there's quite a bit of fire safety stuff on online. Mm -hmm. um, NFPA also has. Um, fire safety material so okay okay well um, Mike thank you very much for visiting with us this morning we thank appreciate you. all the information um, again remember the number to call is on the screen for additional information 2340541 or visit the Enid department uh, the fire department website by visiting enid.org you can find out how you can prevent fires at home and at work. Again, thank you so much for visiting with us. Thank you. Thank you for watching One on One with Jomara.